So I'd like to thank all of you for coming tonight. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to start off with a prayer with uh, Pastor DeAndre Johnson. And then I'm going to introduce you to a few people. And uh, basically this night signifies for me as my vision of what I want Jones to um, move to in the future. Um, I wanted to modernize the funeral home, uh, which you can see uh, with the black and the carpet and things like that. Um, but we're going to be working on all the locations, but um, we're also going to be installing monitors through all the funeral homes so we could bring us into the next generation of funeral uh, services. Um, I'm going to have DeAndre start us off with a prayer and then I'll get back on. Let us all bow. Gracious God, our Father, we bless thee afresh on tonight, Master. We are yet grateful and thankful for you, dear God, for waking us up this morning. Thanking you for enclosing us in our right minds, giving us a reasonable portion of health as well as strength to go throughout this day without any hurt, harm, or danger being incurred into our lives. So on tonight, as we gather, dear God, we thank you for the work that you have manifested here at this Franklin location through Jones Funeral Home, through SCI. We thank you, dear God, for those that have been put in place, Heavenly Father, to lead this company to a greater height. But dear God, we look unto you for strength. We look unto you for direction. We lean and depend on your word. Where you say, trust in the Lord with all of thine heart, lean not to thy own understanding. And on all of thy ways acknowledge you, and you shall direct our paths. So we're looking for you to direct our paths to higher heights, Heavenly Father, and help us to comfort families, to let them know that earth has no sorrow, that heaven is not able to heal, to be absent from this life is to be present with you. And merciful Father, we bless you for this camaraderie of folk that have gathered here throughout our parishes, dear God, that they would see the work being going forth here in the city of Franklin. Thank you for our chieftains on tonight that is continuing to lead our city into higher heights. And we'll be ever so careful to give your name all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor that you so richly deserve. This is our prayer our cry in Jesus' name we pray. And let everyone say amen. 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 Good morning. Uh, so I want to bring up a few people that I'd like to introduce you to who are new to the community for us. Um, we have Mr. Tony Lynch, who's a marketing contact. Tony is our director of marketing. And we have Ms. Gerald Jones. What do I do? Yes. <laughs> Geraldine is our compliance lady. She did this all in order. Um, actually a licensed funeral director in Obama. She's like in five in states. In five states. Working on Louisiana. Working on Louisiana. We have our uh, funeral director in Obama, Mr. Kevin Ramsey, who is at our Oklahoma office. Uh, Mr. Jonathan Fouge. Uh, we have Ms. Wanda Triggs, who's also a funeral director in Obama at our Oklahoma office in Oregon City. Uh, we have our office manager, Ms. Pamela Washington. She is uh, the mother hand of the group. <laughs> uh, then we have Pastor DeAndre. Uh, we have Philip Ruffin, who is our preemie insurance salesman. He's also a funeral attendant. Uh, he's also a florist and a pastor. Um, we have Zachariah, Mr. Nixon. Uh, we have Ms. Doris, my receptionist here, who keeps me in order. <laughs> we have Ms. Jacqueline Bowles, who's our office administrator, field administrator, and she's at the Morgan City office. She was actually going to be here, but they stole her away from me. <laughs> we have Mr. Tim Coleman, uh, Anthony Brusor, who's a new hire. Uh, we also have Timothy Matthews, I don't see him anywhere else. Um, I don't see Lester Levine voted told him as a mayor pro tempo uh, here in Frank and he's one of our funeral attendants as well. Uh, we have Mr. Floyd Bolador. 
Floyd is my um, my road runner, basically. <laughs> uh, who else do we have? And we have, of course, my big brother, Mr. Byron Jones, and at the back, and first lady, Miss Stephanie Jones, and my mother, the uh, Grand Poopa, Miss Shannon Jones. <laughs> have Mr. Tony uh, speak for a second or so, and then Ms. Geraldine. Well, we really appreciate you all coming out tonight. This is such a great turnout. Uh, there was a lot that we ended up doing with the location, as you can see, and we are very proud of the end result. And like Andre said, there's a lot more investment in this building and the other buildings as well. So. Us merging with the Jones Funeral Home business um, is just going to make this uh, stronger in the community <coughs> and be able to present uh, a better service to you all for the future. Uh, Byron is always here. He's uh, a part, uh, even though he, you know, wants to ride off in the sunset in his Winnebago, <laughs> we're still going to call upon him to, to help out and he's here to to help with anything that we need for. Uh, Andre, with his leadership, uh, he is gonna be a definite uh, force in the community, not only here in Franklin, but at the other locations, Morgan City, Homa, and Generette. So he's gonna be up and down the road like Byron was all those years. We also wanna thank all of the team. It takes a team to make this happen for all families. So we do appreciate each and every one of you, and we hope to have a growing staff as things expand. As Mr. Uh, Philip is uh, helping with pre-need, we expect that there's going to be more people helping Philip with protecting the families that we serve. I also want to thank you all for allowing us to come into your community and welcoming us with open arms. This has been a wonderful experience. I've been coming here frequently since March, and I have enjoyed myself thoroughly, getting to know the people in the community, and getting to know people in the Jones business. Uh, it's one of the favorite divisions that I have in SEM. So, more to come. More great things from Andre and the team, and we thank you all. So I have to mention two uh, people. I have Gillis, who's there, Gillis Lurie, and Dwayne, and also Michael Francois. I didn't see you, Michael. And now we have Ms. Geraldine. So, 
being a funeral, being a cornerstone in the community is so important that we are someone that you all can come in and sit down and, and be able to have a cup of coffee. Come in and have a donut. What do you want to do? Okay. <laughs> we all have coffee. <laughs> but we wanted to even show you how things, um, how we can, what we call turning the chapel over to where if you all wanted to have a repast. So that's why we had these tables here to just give you an idea of what that would look like. And we want to be all things, all people. So we, we're glad that everyone likes how the renovations, if you will, in all the locations, you'll be able to see the beautification come about. So again, thank you for your, I usually say it a funeral, I say thank you for your attendance today. <laughs> but thank you for being here with us. Thank you for taking the time to come out. We have refreshments for all of you. And something that I want to do impromptu as well, um, our business <coughs> leader, Tony is our, uh, I've mentioned, he said, market director. What that means is we have 40 other locations that are a part of our network in seven different cities. And this proud gentleman leads us in that. And I'm the business manager, so we mentioned that I'm the compliance person. I'm the trader, the compliance, and just making sure that everyone is <laughs> walking a straight line and making sure that our families are happy and of course our internal family is happy as well. So we have a little something for him. I know, right? You paid for it. <laughs> Y'all will sit again. I can nap when I'm falling. They'll be like, yeah, okay. So I have this little card. And it's so funny, that I know Miss Stephanie wants it because she's a camera person. I might have to go get another one, but nevertheless, it is a picture of a camera. And I won't open the card because I don't want all the money to fall out. But nevertheless, the card is a camera. And I thought that that was very fitting for him because he is a picture perfect leader. I don't even want to use the word boss because when you think about boss, you think about someone who's giving orders, if you will. What he is, he's a beacon of light. He allows us to have direction, to know where we're going. And he does that so proudly. He's always has the same demeanor. He mirrors Byron, and it would was make it so sweet. And I think I mirror Andre, too. So it's so funny that we all walk in together and we all kind of mirror one another. But nevertheless, this camera, I'm going to start crying because I, I love my boss. I've been working with him for a long time. Anyway, I'm talking about someone who's say that, sorry. Impromptu, our leader. We appreciate him, and I would be remiss if I didn't have Mr. Byron Jones come up, because although Tony is the camera, um, the flash that we're seeing right now, this is the image that we're portraying, Mr. Jones, and we appreciate you, the leadership that you have brought to um, the Jones community. You know, we always say the community of who we are. We thank you because this has been, like he mentioned, a beautiful transition of partnership <coughs> with you. And so we are very pleased to just be a part of your family. And we want to make sure that we make all of you all know that you're always welcome in our home. And I we want to give it over to Byron so you can tell everybody how wonderful you are. <laughs> 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 Mortuary school, I was always told that I should have a prayer ready, and it usually just, just in case the minister didn't show up. And I don't have either one of those. And my wife said, You might be asked, some, asked to say something, so you better have some, something ready. And of course, I don't have anything ready. <laughs> but you know, it has been a, a great process. Um, the, the process of, of uh, me transitioning. You know, from the day-to-day -day workings of, of the funeral business, um, a lot of folks said it would be difficult, but because of the people I was working with, it, it was made very, very easy. You know, 44 years, seven days a week, 24 hours a day is what I've done uh, in the funeral industry. And it was just time. I needed to have an exit plan. A lot of folks don't understand that, but um, when I decided I was going to take that next step, um, I searched out, you know, different folks to, that might be interested, and um, this is the group that I came up with. And I know that they will come in and work with my staff, and I still call them my staff, and some of them still 
call me boss. That's right. Uh, to continue, <laughs> right. To continue, you know, what has been a long tradition in St. Mary Parish of, of uh, sincere service, uh, personal direction, and and I can commit tonight to say that that will be that will continue. Um, I'm still in here, not every day, but in and out. I'm always uh, a phone call away. And I will keep my finger on the pulse of everything that goes on and make certain that uh, St. Mary Parish, Terrebonne Parish, Iberia Parish, Lafourche Parish will be taken care of just as it was when I was actually at the helm of everything on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, that's my commitment to you all. And thank you.
And I forgot how beautiful this town was. Uh, the homestead and the people and no traffic. I remember coming through here when I was a kid before Highway 9 and going to my family in Homer. And my God, it was bumping to bumper traffic coming through Franklin. My mother used to curse at the time. She left 10 of them. She died in the burn on You ever heard of that? <laughs> but anyway, I, I've been in the funeral business for 37 years. And I think one of the last exciting things I have seen in a long time was the acquisition, a joining of Jones Funeral. I had, I had a great time meeting these wonderful people, helping him a little bit, not much. You know what I'm talking about, but just a little bit. And it's a great part of the family. And I know they will serve you and continue to serve you with the most utmost respect and um, dedication that you love to see. Again, thank y'all for coming. It's great to see a great crowd here tonight. Again, thank y'all. Y'all have a great evening. Thank you. Now we can go and eat. There's our food. I have uh, Ms. Annie Mays here. Um, I have Ms. Kate was here as well. And Ms. Wilson. Did some things for us as well. So, y'all uh, go ahead and have a good time. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it.